The new Far Cry 6 Collapse DLC is now available and is centered around the collapsing mind of Joseph Seed, the Eden Gate prophet from Far Cry 5 that foretold the end of the world or what he called the Collapse, which, if you remember, in that Far Cry timeline really did happen. Nukes hit Montana and the civilization did essentially collapse, as we saw in the Far Cry New Dawn DLC game. This particular DLC seems to take place right after the collapse began, while Joseph was stuck in his bunker with the Deputy, our playable character from Far Cry 5. During the DLC, Joseph sees visions of some of the events that take place in New Dawn and is very confused by it and the future that will come. Considering this, Collapse focused on Joseph Seed's doubt. His faith is what fueled him, but as his family died and his plans went to ash, doubt begins to tear away and suggests that maybe Joseph did the wrong thing. This happens in a lot of ways, with Joseph taking on his brothers, Jacob and John, in combat, essentially trying to free them from the rot that they brought upon themselves as they battle, and Joseph even attacks Faith at one point, one of his sister wives that he created out of grief for her the loss of his own wife. Very dysfunctional family. It's really done quite powerfully though, especially two sequences, starting with Joseph's journey to his bunker, where the voice in his head shows him what would really have happened if his plan was executed perfectly, if John, Jacob, Faith, and Joseph waited out the end of the world as a family together. The vision shows John needing to indulge his salacious desires to cut and render flesh, possibly even killing Faith. It shows Jacob succumbing to his severe PTSD and killing Joseph in a rage, Faith slowly losing her stockpile of bliss and turning on her father, and perhaps the most powerful vision is what Joseph does to ensure that the deputy transforms into his loyal servant known as the judge, as you can see here. The deputy's room, the last of my family. You tried to cut out your sin for me, didn't you? We are the same, you and I. We both lost everything. Shh. And everyone. And if we emerge, what is left to emerge to? You have no plan now. No hope. You have no reason to carry on. But I will give you a new purpose. You came here to judge me and my family, and you were right to. I was wrong. That is your purpose now, my child. You are and will always be my judge. Despite all of this, Joseph is able to fight back the doubt, reaffirming his belief that he did, in fact, do the right thing. The second most powerful sequence is in the Book of Joseph mission set, where we figure out exactly how this strange family came to be. John was brutally tortured by the trio's father, and Jacob killed their dad to save John. Faith was indoctrinated into the family in a much more twisted way. She was an addicted child, and Joseph was able to free her of these addictions and create a new one, Bliss. Eventually, the entire DLC culminates into the same final battle we've seen in the previous two DLCs. Eden's Gate opens up, and Joseph finally reaffirms his faith and destroys that doubt. But there is a secret ending which you can only get if you beat the game on Mind Level 5. It shows us the exact moment where Joseph lost his innocence and became the twisted prophet that we see in the game. Forgive my doubt, O oh God. Yes, all is forgiven, my child. Doubt has made you stronger. It has made you more obedient. This is good. Sorry, I can't come to the phone right now. I'm busy growing our little sprout. So leave me a message. God, God bless. bless. 
Uh, hey, baby, it's me. I'm just calling to make sure you got the Sarah's okay. I worry a little. Mm. I just, uh, have a good time tonight, okay? And, um, it'll be great to see Sarah, and I know you guys have a lot to catch up on. And, uh, I am going to, uh, I got a plan and a project for tonight. I'm going to build the crib while you're gone. So, you have a good time, and enjoy the chat, and enjoy dinner, and uh, when you get back, there will be a surprise waiting for you. <laughs> no, it's going to be good, I promise. Miss you already. Bye. Sorry, I can't come to the phone right now. I'm busy growing our little sprout. So leave me a message. God, God bless. bless. Hey. Hey, <laughs> um, so I've been trying to put the crib together. It's looking pretty, pretty good, pretty good. There's supposed to be four sides to it, right? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's, uh, it's finished. And, uh, I, uh, I feel pretty good about things. I'm not saying you shouldn't check it over, but, uh, it looks good. I think our baby's gonna have sweet dreams in that crib someday. Um, I love you. Call me back as soon as you get this, okay? Sorry, I can't come to the phone right now. I'm busy growing our little sprout. So leave me a message. God, God bless. bless. Um, hey baby, it's me. Uh, I just have a little, uh, I just, uh, haven't heard from you and, uh, usually you're pretty good about calling me back. So just give me a call, okay? I'm worried. I love you so much. Can't wait to kiss that belly when you get back home. Bye. Those are messages that Joseph left for his late wife moments before she lost her life in a car accident and he was left alone with their child wounded in that same crash. An incredibly distraught and broken Joseph believed that God wanted him to end his child's suffering and he ended her life. So that secret ending is really the last moment before he became the dangerous prophet that we see in the series. He actually explains this in a scene in Far Cry 5 as his come to Jesus moment. But still, hearing that hope and happiness in his voice in those messages, I think really does close the loop on the character we know as Joseph, a very, very broken man that tried to use his faith to fix himself. Unfortunately, unlike the Pagan Min DLC, there's really no meta narrative mention of those nukes that hit Montana or some secrets behind everything in the series. It's a much smaller, much more depressing story of a broken man who tried to break the world with his faith. On that cheery note, I want to remind you this video is sponsored by Manscaped.com. They are here to save your balls this year and make 2022 the cleanest and sexiest ever. For your balls, I guess. Uh, they have the new Performance Package 4.0, the new Ultra Premium Body Wash. They got travel bags, boxer briefs. Honestly, they're the best shavers in the world. They're not that expensive. And right now, you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code VGS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the code VGS. It's a new year, no pubes in 2022 with manscaped.com.